Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Sorry for the interruption, but it is super important. If you desire to have a podcast, don't be afraid. Use Spotify for podcasters. It's what I use. Go to anchor.fm. It's free. And get your voice out there. The world needs to hear your wisdom, your experiences, your love. So don't be afraid. Go share your love. It's time to ask God to give us the grace of looking at our past and making it his wisdom. It's a fundamental difference when we look at our lives, how we've lived them in the past through our eyes versus through God's eyes and his wisdom, where instead of looking at our lives and regretting and wishing we did something different and feeling that pain, feeling that insecurity, all of those horrific, vicious feelings, viceful feelings. Maybe we have vengeance against someone or resent for someone who did something to us in our lives. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, it's people that are very close to us, people in our family, people who we trusted, teachers, coaches, friends, So let's pray today that God take our past and that we receive our past when we reflect as wisdom, as learning. This is the journey. When we end up not looking back in the way that we saw the past, If we revisit it with God's eyes, God's wisdom, we're going to see things differently. We're going to see events differently, circumstances differently, people differently, ourselves differently. Because we are not that same person now. We have had enlightenment. We have had our eyes open to truth of Jesus Christ and to how he is working in our heart, in our soul, in our mind, in our body. You know we're on that trip, right? Soul, mind, body, it's all connected. And our past, our memories in our brain, But if we pray for God's wisdom, which by the way, let's go back to the book of James. Okay, I just paused, got my Bible, and we're going to read the book of James. (laughs) Sorry for the switch. Okay, perseverance in trial. That is exactly what the first chapter says. And it's actually about the value of trials and temptation. So I'm going to read Both of these sections, I don't think I've actually gone into the temptation part. Consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials, 
for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Okay, here's the kicker, everyone. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in his high standing and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass. Its flower droops and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of pursuits. Now we're going into temptation. And this is also our past. Let's have God's wisdom and learn and see what we have taught ourselves and what we have lied to ourselves about, what this world told us we need to do in order to be peaceful. Go find some external things to calm us, to take off that edge. What a lie. Okay, we're going on to verse 12. Blessed is the man who perseveres in temptation. For when he has proved, he will receive the crown of life that he promised to those who love him. No one experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to temptation, to evil, and he himself, blah, rewind. No one experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin, and when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. Sorry, I got to turn the page here. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. All good giving and every perfect gift. From, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me do this again. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. All good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Sorry of my poor reading, but I just have to get going. I'm going to go to an earlier mass. Otherwise, I would re-record this whole thing for you. But that's the point. Look, we just talked about Faith, God's wisdom, trials, temptation, it's all wrapped together. But when we look at our past and we pray for the wisdom of God to have our past be blessed, that it turns into wisdom, that we learn like children and we thank God. Oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you. I never saw that horrific experience in my life in that light. I never thought of it that way. Because when we continue to live in that hate and that anger and that resentment or that sadness, that depression, that unworthiness, that unlove, that's Satan. But when God's wisdom is poured into our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls, we see not only the world differently as it is today, but our past. 
as God's wisdom and ways to learn that we can have our eyes opened and we can walk in his light, knowing that every step we take is those testings, those trials and those temptations can now be victory. They can be in our past and things that we can learn from and share from. Remember when I say trust, true, resolve under severe testing. Every test and trial is an opportunity for testimony of God working in our lives. So let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we need your wisdom. Please pour it into our hearts so that we truly see our past as what it was and not what we thought it to be. Take away all of our vicious thoughts and feelings and shine light on the truth. Help us to see events and people and circumstances around us with an open heart, with compassion, with acceptance, with teaching, like a child, so we can learn and love you even more as we walk more into this unknown world day by day, moment by moment. Mary, take our left hand. Holy Spirit, take our right. Guardian angel, wrap around us. All you holy angels and saints in heaven, please help us fight the fight. Keep us on that narrow path and help us to love our past. Lord, give us your wisdom. In your holy name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, I love you all. I pray that God is helping you to learn from your past, to love your past. If your past didn't happen the way it did, you wouldn't be where you are. I wouldn't change a thing. And I'm telling you, five, six years ago, I would have changed everything. (laughs) I would have totally changed everything. I wished I could go back. I wanted to change all of the horrific things that I did. But now I know that all of those activities that I did, those horrific things, those things I thought, those things I said, are all blessings now. I have no more guilt, no more shame, no more resentment, just love and learning and gratitude for all that God has done. And I pray that your scales off your eyes for your past become wisdom for your future. All righty, everyone. I love you all. Find something more with God today and all day. Soul, mind, and body. Have a blessed and inspired day.